Buckle up, folks. They're both so dimensionally and weightily matched, it's like a never-ending game of tug-of-war. These 499 gram fighters are ready to rumble. They're like a punch in the face, but with glass and metal. Huawei says, 4G, come on, with the BTK AL09, but Honor's Pad X9 says, no sim, please. Can it handle a splash, or will it drown? Zilch for either. Oh, these champs ain't pool party material yet. Time to shine, peeps. Get ready for a TFT LCD IPS screen battle with a crazy fast 120Hz refresh rate. They're chucking big punches at their screens, like 11.5 inch haymakers. These tablets are like space wizards, squeezing every inch with an 86% screen to body ratio. The MatePad has a super fancy resolution and a cool aspect ratio for all the action. Meanwhile, the Pad X9 is like, check out my 1200 by 2000 pixel resolution and 5 to 3 aspect ratio. I bring the party with vibrant visuals. How thick? MatePad and boom. 229 PPI knockout. Pad X9, bam. 203 PPI powerhouse. It's Harmony OS 3.1 versus Magic OS 7.1, Android 13, in the OS ring. Let the battle begin. These peeps are flexing their skills with Qualcomm Snapdragon swag. The MatePad has a fancy Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 chip, while the Pad X9 settles for a not-so-fancy Snapdragon 685 4G chip. Whoa, these octa-core CPUs are like spinning your head with their crazy clock speeds. The MatePad has the elegant Adreno 644 GPU, while the Pad X9 rocks the Adreno 610. Welcome to the ultimate tech circus, where CPUs and GPUs are the star performers. RAM, ROM, and card slot chaos. MatePad shows off its beefy 6GB and 8GB RAM, while Pad X9 comes in with a decent 4GB and a bonus 3GB for a double trouble combo. They both have 128 gigabytes of storage, but no card slots. So, no extra memory for them. Let there be light, camera, and lots of action. The MatePad's camera is a 13 megapixel f 1.8 module, ready to make your moments picture perfect. Say cheese. The Pad X9 fights back with a 5 megapixel f 2.2 camera, a little guy in this ring. Watch out for the Pad X9, it's sneaky. The MatePad is like a 4K boss with 3840 by 2160 pixels of pure awesomeness in the video department. But wait, the Pad X9 is no laser bones with its 1080p goodness at 1920 by 1080 pixels. Time to get your best duck face on, it's selfie o'clock. The MatePad and Pad X9 have cameras that are like twins, with 8 megapixel and 5 megapixel modules, both at f 2.2. Video? Both sides got 1080p, 1920 by 1080 pixels. Game on. Get ready, selfie addicts, for an epic showdown of fabulous faces. Prepare for an ear-rocking experience. Stereo speakers are causing a commotion, but the Pad X9 takes it to the next level with six speakers, while the MatePad settles for four. Oops. The 3.5mm jack went on vacation for both contenders. It's all about wireless audio now. It's a Wi-Fi battle, old versus new. Bluetooth 5.2 versus 5.1 is a big deal, and they both have lots of codecs. Let's party. The MatePad's GPS gang is all like, let's do this. But the Pad X9's GPS is like, nah, I'll pass. What about NFC? Nah, no tap and pay love here either. Leap of batteries, the secret fuel for these unstoppable titans. The MatePad has a big 7,700 mAh battery, while the Pad X9 is not too shabby with 7,250 mAh. 
The MatePad charges like a boss with a 22.5 watt wired trick, while the Pad X9 is being all mysterious about its charging style. In the endurance race, Pad X9 wins with 13 hours of video playback, while MatePad manages a decent 10.5 hours. Get ready for a monochrome bash, peeps. Both players rocking the space gray swag, ready to slay. Now, brace yourselves for the epic price tag dance. The MatePad struts in at 260 euros, while the Pad X9 swoops in at 250 euros. They're like a stylish duo, but one has a bit more RAM. Behold, these bad boys have flexed their muscles and put on quite the show. Tech fans, it's decision time. Are you Team MatePad or Team Pad X9? Or are you just indecisively stuck in tablet limbo? Comment your thoughts, like, and subscribe for more epic tech duels from DG Duelers. Don't let your gadgets go dead and your excitement go low.